giant monstrosity is a Vectrex. <laughs> I'll try to fit it all into frame. Uh, Alright. I've seen a lot of people collecting the system. And it means the system means a lot to me. I did not buy this from a porn shop or, or from anyone. This was actually mine. My grandfather gave it to me uh, when I was like 10. Maybe, maybe even maybe a little bit older. Maybe like 93. I might have... was like 10? Yeah, whatever, whatever. And the system means a lot to me. You're going to have to pry for my cold, dead, dead hands. <laughs> it doesn't work anymore. It's something, something's fried in it. It used to... Like... Like, like, I don't know, maybe like five years ago, it worked. Now it died. It doesn't turn on anymore. I get like this little dot in the screen. I could probably fix it if I open it up, but you don't want to fuck around with this thing because it has an actual, this is an actual screen, like a CT, CRT TV screen that it's very dangerous if you take it apart. It could, it could stop your heart if you get electrocuted by it. It's, it's a big mess. I don't, I don't really f feel like fixing it right now. Well, probably if I clean the insides, I could probably get to start, but I don't want to fuck around. It's something, something you, know, you don't fuck around with. Alright, so this is where the games go in. And I have a pretty good collection of the games. It's only It was only like 20 games, if even that. So here, let me, uh... Yeah, so what you would do is you put the slide over here. And then you would... Here's the funny thing. I've literally thought this was the controller. <laughs> you see there's a nub over here. It's actually supposed to be like a metal thing that pops out like this, but I never had it. I always had this little nub, so this is how I actually played it, like a fucking idiot. <laughs> I was actually going to try to make, ma manufacture my own, and then just try to put it, glue it on top or something, but I never did. And this is the controller, and here's the... Hey, hey, it's too fucking dark, but this is the reset button. This You, you turn it on, and you use vector graphics, which are essentially just like lines. And the cool thing was, this is a portable, if I can get, I can't get this fucking thing back in there. Ah, fuck it. <laughs> it's a portable system. It, had a, it has a holder, hand hold in the back. You can lift it up and you can carry around. Even though it is a good, it's not super heavy, but it's a good 10, like 10 pounds maybe. So, I just want to show it off. So, these are my, this is my games. I have a pretty good collection of them. Once again, it's not the whole thing, but the games I have, I have pretty fond memories of. Spike is a great... Spike, in my opinion, is probably the best game on the system. It also comes preloaded with a game. It was basically like a like an asteroids clone called Mo Mindstorm, I think. Clean Sweep I mentioned before in, a, in another video, where it's basically it's a Pac-Man clone, but it's, it's a pretty decent one. Chase is a racing game, Solo Quest is pretty good too.
and uh, alright, so I'm going to cut this off and I'll show you the, because uh, this thing t is a monstrosity, it takes up a huge fucking, uh, and the funny thing is, I was playing this around the same time as the Super Nintendo was out, <laughs> and I, I like this system, I have really fond memories of this system, so along with my Genesis, my NES, and uh, Super NES, I was playing this bad boy, so hold on, I'll, let me move this shit around. Once again, I wanted to make this video just because I think the, the Vetrex, for whatever reason, it kind of became like a status symbol. And I just wanted to show that this was a really great system. It isn't a status symbol. Alright, so let's show this shit. <laughs> These are the overlays. These basically, because the Vectrex is in black and white, I'm going to show, I'm going to try to film, uh, there's, a, there's a really good emulator, you could, put, you could play the Vetrex games on your PC. But it doesn't. I don't think you can put overlays on them. So over, what the overlays were, because Vectrus is in black and white. It was. It's a really bright system. It's not like the Game Boy where it's kind of like blurry or whatever. This was. It was bright. It was big bright graphics. And since it was in black and white, what they did was they gave you Scramble's a good game. I don't. I don't remember what happened to the fucking cartridge, but I have this. The overlay. <laughs> I think I even have the manual too. Oh, whatever. But here, here's what here's what this is. So pretty much what you do is here's the overlay. This this was it showed like here you know, like escape thrust. It showed the but the, what the buttons were, and the, I guess one player, two players. I don't even know. But basically. Actually, this is even this is mine, so this is even fucking scramble. Basically, you put this on here, and they, that would act as the the color because there was no color in uh, uh. on the system. Scramble's a great game anyway. And so, mine, I, Mindstorm is is the game that comes pre pre uh, pre, -cro pre programmed. It was basically just asteroids. These were all basically like rip off games for the, on the Vetrex. Spike is basically a Mario clone, except it's. It's really weird. It's like panels that you have to. It's like three. You have to jump. You have to climb ladders and jump across the panels or whatever. Same thing with uh, this is almost like Defender. Hypertrace. I'm trying to think of. I think this is like Yard's Revenge. These are all. These are all like uh, clone games. I'm basically here. You put the overlay on. That would act as the graphics for the uh, the system. Berserker's a great game. It's it's like a uh, Robotron. It's been on. It's on a ton of shit. Berserk. It's uh, not only is it an anime. It's also a game. Uh, it tastes like Robotron Twenty, whatever the fuck the name is. It, this is a great game. Although I don't know what happened. To, I thought I owned this, but I guess I didn't. <laughs> So I got a pinball game, and Star Trek, and once again, Clean Sweep is basically just a Pac-Man clone. And then Starhawk is like another, it's kind of a rip-off of uh, the Star Wars uh, arcade game or whatever.
So I'm going to put up a little footage of the uh, of the emulation on my PC just to show you what this is, what the system looks like. But uh, it's a great it was a great system. It's not just a status symbol. I really have fond memories of the system. I, I think I might have been like one of the only few people <laughs> who owned it. I I don't know anyone who had this fucking thing. I mean, even with at least with Turbo Graphics, that was that was a rare system. But I, at least I knew people who had it, or at least I like one of my neighbors had it. Vetrex. I've never ever seen anyone with Vetrex other than I mean now because it's you know people are co fucking collecting for it, but back then nobody owned this shit. So I just want to show you that fond memories of Vetrex. I guess I don't know what to call this. Vetrex retrospective. <laughs> but I put up the footage. I, I'm just going to film the screen of what the game looks like just to show you.